Hi there, I'm Scott with North Park Anglers and we're here today to show you a, uh, a knot that we use uh, quite often uh, while fishing. This one's called the Orvis Tippet Knot. This knot can be used uh, for multiple applications. Um, most notably would be going from leader uh, to tippet or tippet to tippet um, or also creating tags um, for hanging flies in a rig. Um, so for the purpose of this demo I'm going to use a yellow fly line um, and a green fly line. And this yellow fly line will represent uh, my leader coming down from the fly line. And the green is going to represent my tippet material. So to start this knot, it's very similar to a surgeon's knot, but it has one extra step. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, leader end and your tippet end and you're going to overlap them like so. And for the purpose of this knot, uh, for leaving tags uh, and just any knot in general, I like to use a lot of extra tippet. Um, tippet is cheap and the more that you have, that it makes it much easier to tie your knot. So you'll overlay these. You're going to make one quick overhand loop. And then you're going to take your uh, tippet end and, you, and the little tag piece and you're going to run those around the knot once and back. Uh, basically coming around the loop. Now you're going to take both ends and you're going to drive them through the big loop. And with this material I'll probably just do it once, but with tippet I like to do it three times. Uh, and if you do it correctly you'll have sort of a figure eight there and you'll just pull this tight. Then I like to take the two long ends and tighten those and then tighten the two short ends. Now the great thing about this knot is that uh, for leader to tip it or tip it to tip it, it's super strong. Um, but what I like to do with it um, is I will trim the top portion of the knot and now I have a piece of material here that I can use as a tag. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll hang a fly off this tag and then a fly off this tag and then uh, it, it works for uh, multiple reasons. One would be uh, that it's away from the main line um, and when a fish eats it, there's nothing uh, obstructing it as if you had uh, a fly tied to the eye and then to the bend, um, you'd have this tippet in the way, so that's nice. Um, and then two, uh, when you hook a fish, uh, either on the tagged fly or the bottom fly, the, the flies stay, stay completely uh, separate from each other. Um, so that's how you tie that knot. Uh, I use it um, all the time. Every time I'm tying tippet to tippet or leader to tippet or, or hanging flies, um, and if you were just going to make it a tippet to tippet or a leader to tippet knot, you can trim both sides and it's a very clean knot. tie that knot and I was going to show you a couple rigs here um, with that system in place. This one here would be uh, the way we fish uh, in a lake um, under an indicator. So here's my bottom fly uh, which is a leech and then I would come up to my first tagged fly which is a chronomid and then another tagged fly which happens to be another chronomid for this video and so there you go, I've got three flies and they're tagged and then if I want to switch out it's easy, I just come to the tag and cut it and switch it, I don't have to tie multiple knots, it's one knot here instead of one eye, one bend so that's really nice, so that would be a lake rig uh, I also use this when I'm fishing streamers um, again, my tagged fly sitting there and then my bottom fly here and that works great and um, I never have issues with that getting caught up. It, it seems to swim and stay away from the line. Um, it, it works wonderful. And then the last one would be a dry dropper setup. So I've got my dry hopper down to the first tagged fly and my second nymph. So that's the Orvis Tippet Knot. It's an awesome knot and uh, works works wonderful for. Uh, lots of different applications and it's super easy and super quick. So thanks for tuning in.